Today we have some big news to get out to you from Nintendo. I'm, you know, we we I don't even know how to describe this. We have some some weird information being passed around about Tears of the Kingdom that I believe to be fake, and we we need to spend some time talking about that. We also have some stuff going on with a potential, well, not a potential. We are getting a form of a Nintendo Direct tomorrow, so we have to talk about that as well. There are some updates on Nintendo lawsuit-related things, and yes, a new game trial for NSO. Before we jump into all of this, I want to remind you that we are giving away a Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Special Edition Switch OLED. We're also giving away a Tears of the Kingdom Collection. Collector's Edition, also a Zelda Tears of the Kingdom pin from PAX East, and maybe more. I have no idea, but that's what the giveaway has right now. Uh, to enter, you just have to go to the link in the pinned comment or in the description. We're also now on our road to 133,000 subscribers, so I would appreciate if you would subscribe to the channel, drop a like on the video, and maybe even turn that bell notification on so you can be notified of all of our videos. All right, let's get into our first story here, and this is just something Nintendo announced this morning. And they put it out on their Twitter and other social media platforms and said, a new indie world is happening tomorrow. So it is happening at 11 a.m. Central Time, and they state, tune in for roughly 20 minutes of reveals, announcements, and updates on indie games for Nintendo Switch. Now, look, indie worlds generally are pretty good. And I have to say that to really get the first half of 2023 going, Nintendo's been hitting it out of the park. Not only do we have a full Nintendo Direct back in February, and obviously a lot of marketing lately for Tears of the Kingdom, and this week, marketing, there was a new trailer that dropped for Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp coming out this Friday. Also dropping an Indie World right now is really, really good as well. It felt like we were probably do one at some point here, and there's one particular game people think will be in this Indie World, and it actually makes sense this time. We've been hoping for every single Indie World, and that is Hollow Knight Silk Song. Now, why do we expect it in this direct? Well, it was announced at an Xbox event last year, and Microsoft boldly stated at this event, which happened in June, that hey, everything shown in our event is releasing within the next calendar year. So that's within the next 12 months. So from June to June. And right now, Hollow Knight Silk Song does not have a release date. So people think we might get the release date in this indie world. Of course, that's not the only game there's going to be. When you have roughly 20 minutes of stuff to go, there's going to be a ton of games packed into here. And I'm really looking forward to it. Maybe this indie world more than any other because I'm really trying to see what is there to fill the slate between now and Tears of the Kingdom. What's coming out when I'm done with Tears of the Kingdom and maybe fill a gap between Tears of the Kingdom and Pikmin 4 if there even is a gap for me. Uh, I'm just really looking forward to this indie world, and I think many of you guys are as well. Of course, we will be live stream reacting to this indie world tomorrow. I'll probably go live about an hour before the indie world begins and uh, start speculating away on, on what news we can maybe hear. All right, next up, we need to talk about Tears of the Kingdom. There's a piece of news floating out there. I've seen it on Reddit. I've seen it on Twitter. I've seen it posted everywhere. And it looks like it's an ad for Tears of the Kingdom, a DLC outfit ad. So here's the ad, and it says, Receive a free DLC outfit for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom when you pre-order the game. It includes a Royal Crest short, uh, shirt and the Hero shorts, which also the Hero shorts, you know, based on this, would confirm that there is no separate boot item. What I find interesting about this ad is that it, it, it looks fake, because it probably is. Uh, some people speculate this might have been AI generated. I'm not sure. The screenshot of Link wearing uh, this these outfits uh, is, is kind of blurry and not really the sort of shot that Nintendo would put in an ad, right? It would be Link would be much taller, much bigger, much you know filling the screen with a much higher quality look at the outfit rather than what we're seeing here. Um, even the, some fraying on the edges of the Nintendo Switch logo and the Nintendo logo and the copyright Nintendo stuff. It very much looks like this is a fake image, if not made by AI, made by a fan. Just be careful because you might see a lot of this stuff heading in the launch where it, it, you're going to see something that looks pretty legit but probably isn't real. And this is just one of those cases where this is a likely fake ad. I can't say like 1000% that it's fake, but there's a lot of red flags to the point that 
there's a reason that you're not seeing this pop up in a lot of videos. There's a reason you're not seeing this reposted everywhere all the time and seeing a bunch of big Zelda YouTubers making a big deal out of it because it just looks fake. It doesn't look like the quality of an ad Nintendo would put out. So just throwing that out there. I think it's not real. You guys let me know what you think down in the comments below. Are you team fake or team real? Now, next up, we need to talk about Nintendo and an update on a lawsuit uh, that they already won. So if you guys remember, Nintendo brought down the hammer on Gary Bowser, uh, one of the members of Team Executor that was selling devices that could easily help cross pins and hack your Nintendo Switch. He was profiting off of it. And that was really the problem here. Not that he was hacking Switches, but that he was profiting off selling devices that could help others hack their Switch. It's not illegal to hack your Switch, but you're not supposed to profit off of that kind of stuff. And he was. So he got busted, and this was an already settled lawsuit. And the thing is, he was sentenced uh, to uh, multiple years in jail along with $10 million in damages. Now, here is the update on this because Gary Bowser has actually been released from prison. So that's you know good for him. He was released on good behavior. And he has actually paid back about $175 of what he owes. That doesn't sound like much, but here's the deal. Nintendo can garnish his wages essentially for the rest of his life up to 25 to 30%. Now, he was working when he was in prison. And here's the thing. He was actually a really upstanding citizen while he was in prison. The problem is that prison wages are pretty low, clearly, because you're in jail. So yeah, uh, he wasn't making a lot of money, hence why he only paid back $175. It does sound like Nintendo will be garnishing wages. We have no idea if they're going to be garnishing 25 to 30%. Uh, I don't know if Nintendo ever plans to get their full $10 million out of him, but clearly all of this is just to curb people from doing something similar in the future and setting an example. For Gary Bowser, this does suck to see 20 to 30% of his wages gone for the rest of his life, but I also can't feel bad for him because he was profiting off selling devices to hack Nintendo Switches, which is against the law. So, yeah, it, that's it, it's whatever. There's also some other lawsuits going on uh, with appeals happening that Nintendo keeps winning as well. We're not going to dive too deep into that one because it sounds like there might be another appeal being filed. So we're just going to let that play out in courts and then we'll talk about it once the appeal process is over. All right, and our last story today deals with the Nintendo Switch Online. You guys know Nintendo does free game trials for Nintendo Switch Online. Uh, just kind of here and there. It's very random. And now we know when our next North American free trial is coming and what the game is. And that game is Star Wars Republic Commando, an old game that has re-released on Switch and is actually pretty good. These are one of the good old Star Wars games. And they're doing a free game trial, which for those that don't know, free game trials allow you to play the entire game. And I would say for Star Wars Republic Commando, you could probably beat the game in the time that this is available because it will be available the entire game uh, from April 20th through April 26th. So yeah, plenty of time. If you really want to buckle down, you can actually beat Star Wars Republic Commando in that time frame. However, if you would like to just buy the game and don't care about the trial, well, during that time period, they will be selling the game for 50% off. It normally retails for $14.99. Get it for about $7.50. I think it's worth the $7.50 personally, and it helps support the people who ported it over and everything. But yeah, Star Wars Republic Commando is going to be that next free game on Nintendo Switch Online, the next free game trial. Pretty cool. I would like to see some bigger games. It would be cool if we got like a free Splatoon 3 weekend or something, but uh, what are you going to do that Nintendo's already does that every once in a while? Anyways, guys, that is the big Nintendo news for the last 24 hours. I'm really excited uh, for what's coming next. We'll see if we have another video later today. I got a bit of a concert I need to go to for one of my children. But, hey, you know what? We'll still try to get a second video up later this afternoon. You guys are awesome, and I'll catch you in the next video.